So I do encourage people to transition to a whole food plant-based diet, but how about those people who say want to be vegan but still want to eat meat? Um, you know, can we recommend these fake meats out there? I've heard Dr. McDougall say that these isolated proteins can even promote insulin-like growth factor one in the body. Um, is that, you know, is that safe to, uh, you know, promote those types of foods to people that are transitioning? Well, you know, it's important not to let the perfect be the enemy of the good. In other words, it's like, you know, you don't want to have this, like, you either eat the standard American diet or you eat this perfect whole yeah. food, you know, or, or you're having a kale salad for lunch. You tell that to people, right? <laughs> and you're, I mean, it's just people are going to glaze over and think you're crazy, right? Yeah. So these are fantastic transition foods. Right, these are the kind of comfort foods that people kind of grow up with. Their taste buds have adapted to. Um, so I think it's great for people to be able to um, move on to these foods and be like, "Hey, I can eat like eight before, but all of a sudden my diet has zero cholesterol, which is only found essentially in, in animal foods. Right. No saturated animal fat, much healthier. Um, now." You know, is, is it healthy as broccoli? No. No one's yeah. saying it's healthy as broccoli. But it's a tremendous step. I mean, imagine if we did that. You know, yeah. I have a lot of videos on the site showing remarkable effects of even, you know, cutting down saturated fat 15%, like practicing meatless Mondays, mm -hmm. right? I mean, so that's all they're doing. It's one yeah. day of the week. And you can see remarkable benefits. It's not black and white. You know, I show the, in my Uprooting Leading Cause of Death video, you know, when you look at hypertension, diabetes, you know, some of the leading killers, obesity, you look at the leading cause of vision loss, cataracts. It's not like, you know, uh, meat eaters have 100% of the risk, and then flexitarians and overlactive vegetarians and pescatarians have 100%, right. and then vegans, you know, down to 40% or 25%. No, it's the stepwise yeah. drop in risk. The more and more plant-based one eats, the more benefits accrue. True to fully maximize, to fully exploit the power of diet to lower the risk of chronic disease, you really have to do move towards the end of the plant-based spectrum. Yeah. But every step along the way counts. So I think it's fantastic when these new products come out like Beyond Meat and things. People can't even tell the difference. Your body can tell the difference. So all of a sudden you ate something with fiber. All of a sudden you ate something you know that didn't have any cholesterol. Um, and so... Uh, you know, people aren't going to jump straight to broccoli. And so, you know, I, I just, I, I would hope people don't dead end on those products, right? Yeah. I want people to continue to move. But in terms of getting them to start the transition, fantastic. I think we need more of them. I think they need to be, you know, how like, you know, soy milk, almond milk is in the dairy case next yeah. to dairy milk. Yep. Well, there, there should be Beyond Meat in the yep. meat case. Like <laughs> next to chicken yeah. meat, there's the Beyond Meat, you know. And people can be like, oh, wait a second, it's just as cheap and, you know, it doesn't have any cholesterol. Mm -hmm. Hey, this is great. Right. And I mean, so I think that's a fantastic thing. You know, they're never going to have broccoli in the meat case, right? right? Um, uh, but so while we still have meat cases, might as have healthier options in there. Yeah, I think that's good advice is that it's more of a range of health. You know, you have the, the standard American diet and the whole food plant-based diet. You know, it's taking those little steps and improving on a daily or, you know, weekly, monthly basis type of thing. And in fact, you know, there's a lot of studies that I show that literally all they did was add fruits and vegetables to people's diet. didn't take anything oh, away. Wow. Now, of course, look, if you're going to eat more fruits and vegetables, you're going to eat less of something else. Yeah. And since fruits and vegetables are the healthiest things on the planet, by definition, yep. you're going to be getting rid of less healthy foods and adding more healthy foods. But some of these remarkable studies, like an improvement in lung function, people with emphysema, which is adding some fruits and vegetables. The dramatic boost in immunity um, uh, seen in older men and women in response to, you know, pneumonia. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, that was just, you know, you look at the experimental group, it was, you know, five to seven fruits and vegetables a day versus like three or fewer fruits and vegetables a day. So even just adding healthy foods mm -hmm. can have a dramatic effect. Part of that is because the wonderful things found in those healthy foods. Part of that is you're displacing less healthy foods. But, you know, I kind of like that just psychologically as a physician. When I tell people to add healthy foods, people don't feel deprived. Right? right? If I said, okay, you got to not smoke, you got to quit smoking, you got to mm -hmm. stop eating cheeseburgers, you got to, okay. But instead, if I say, hey, I want you to eat, you know, a salad this big, yeah. right, every day, right? If you eat a salad that big, by definition, you're just not going to have room for some of yeah. this other stuff.
Right? So we start, okay, sell it every day. And then we add some more, you know, okay, I want you to eat a sweet potato. All right, now I want you to eat, you know. And by the end of the month, they're like, I don't got room for the crap. Yeah. Right? And little do they know, I just transitioned them to a plant-based whole food diet. And, you know, they don't feel, in fact, not only do they not feel deprived, they're like, oh, no more food. Oh, my God. Right. Yeah, it'd be very tough to, to pound that pizza someone used to eat with a whole big bowl of salad. So that's exactly. really good advice. Yeah.